Replacement of single-use plastic with environment-friendly recyclable products is the need of the hour. An innovator named Neelam Bhaire and her teammate Anirudh Deshpande have come up with an innovative solution in which they have developed bio-based biodegradable advanced material from potential agro-waste after harvesting of crop. This material can be used to produce different kinds of products like cotton earbuds, disposable cutlery and other medical applications. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi gave a clarion call to phase out single-use plastic. The government has also taken effective measures to phase out identified single-use plastics item which have low utility and high adverse environmental impact. To achieve this goal, startup like Vivek Indy Green Private Limited is working with a team of passionate youth and industry experts who developed the material to convert essential single-use plastic into cold, compostable, recyclable and biodegradable products. In today's edition of Changemaker, we have with us Neelam and Anirudh from Vivek Indy Green Private Limited. Welcome Neelam and Anirudh. Thank you so much, sir, for giving this opportunity and this platform. Thank you very much, sir, for inviting us for this particular uh, opportunity and we're looking forward. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Neelam, please introduce yourself and your team and tell us about your innovation. Vivek Indigreen Private Limited is a chauvinistic and patriotic team. We are not passionately working towards the environmental sustainability, but also we are working on the green technological solution. Our innovation is we are uh, working on bio-based, biodegradable, advanced material that is biomass, and we are producing it from agriculture waste, which can be used to produce different kinds of single-use plastic products like earbuds, medical bibs, disposable bags, etc. Yes, Neelam, you are working on a very important um, aspect of you know, especially the single-use plastic. What inspired you to create such an innovation? India being an agricultural country, uh, we have, actually I can say we have a blessing to produce variety of crops and give food to uh, all over the world. Since this, after this production and harvesting of crop, there are immense amount of agriculture waste has been generated and it has no solution of it right now. Farmers are burning in it and it creating an immense air pollution. On another level, uh, the uh, plastic waste. So this single-use plastic waste, we all know that worlds are facing a uh, immense problem about it. Uh, if I talk about the figures, India is creating around uh, 26,000 tons of plastic waste every day, and there is no solution for it. So with these two major problems, we have come up with a better solution for the sustainability that is the biomass which is bio-based biodegradable advanced material since we are creating it uh, producing it from the agriculture waste to uh, create the single-use plastic products great so what is the unique selling proposition of your product our product is 100% bio-based since we are pr producing it from agriculture waste it is 100% coal compostable Coal compostable is basically we did not require any kind of conditions to degrade it. If we just dispose of into into the environment, it will degrade completely and it will enhance the soil quality. And uh, since uh, this product is uh, not only uh, a solution for the single use plastic product, but it also giving the farmers to have some another source of income as well because we know that farmers face a lot of problem uh, during their journey so it is another source of income for them as well and yes that's it yes anurudh what are the problem that you are solving or addressing through this innovation and what is the impact it is creating uh, yeah that's that's a really great question you know uh, uh, being an agricultural country as neela mentioned that we are producing immense amount of agricultural waste and that is the one challenge and another challenge is the plastic waste as neela rightly said that 26000 tons of plastic waste is getting generated on daily basis and out of which only 40 to 50 percent of the waste is getting collected and getting disposed of but other 40 to 50 percent waste is getting disposed of anything like on the uh, our uh, uh, earth surface 
So we came up with the solution of uh, developing the product from the agricultural waste, utilization of agricultural waste, and which can be used for the uh, replacement of the single-use plastic. As we know, everyone knows that Modi government has banned single-use plastic products in the market. I will give you a so small example of that. You know that we are using earbuds to clean our ears. Okay, I can show you some of those which are with me currently. You can see here. Okay, how you are using it? You are taking one earbud and putting it into one ear and another one ear, another ear, and then you are disposing of into the environment. So the middle middle stick of the earbud, you can take any company, Johnson and Johnson, Tulips, many companies. They are made up of polypropylene. Okay, if you dispose it off, it is very difficult to pick up from the environment. You just use our product, you dispose it off into the environment, it will degrade in 20, oh, 30 days, it will enhance the soil quality and it will not create any further pollution on the environment. So this impact of, you know, uh, the single-use plastic products which are getting disposed of to, into the environment, we are reducing that impact and we are developing a new products for the market. Also, we can see the different another product which is ear, ear uh, sorry, uh, bib medical beam. So everything right now is made up of polypropylene, polyethylene, and we are replacing with that our biomass. Uh, I can show you one product right now. This is a beam, medical beam. If you go to any dentist or any, uh, you know, uh, specialist, they will put this beam on your chest or on your neck, you know, to check yourself. Okay. So this is made up of a polypropylene in the market, which is available. Okay. If uh, this, if if you dispose of that as a medical waste, that again creates a pollution problem because of the plastic. This is biodegradable beef, which you can use it and you can dispose it of uh, in a medical waste. Ash content is very low. If you look at the another product, which I can show you here of this bag, the, these gift bags of made up of polypropylene, polyethylene or paper. To make a bags of this paper as well, you need to cut the trees. We are also cutting the trees, but we are using the agricultural waste, which is of no use. Okay, these type of single-use plastic products which are developing, which we have developed, which we have developed the earbuds as well. I can show you here right now. Earbuds, lineards, disposable cutlery, chai ke cups, jo aap use karte ho. Everything we can, whatever the singly used plastic products, we can replace it with that, with our material. Great, uh, Neelam. Uh, you have participated in national innovation contest and you were the one of the winner. Uh, can you please share your experience in participating in national innovation contest, please, Neela? Sure, sir. Uh, I have a great experience in the national boot camps. Uh, it was a two-day boot camp. We have uh, actually learned what is the particularly word entrepreneurship there because before that we are more into the innovation part or the research part because since i was i am a in, in science background so entrepreneurship word is very new to me but due to the uh, courses or the short boot camp which uh, mic have uh, introduced to ourselves i actually got to learn more about the entrepreneurship how the business works what are the what is marketing finance and get to more know about it also, since uh, they gave us opportunity to different delegates uh, to showcase our products, so we actually got many feedback as well as networking for that. Uh, so it was a great experience for me to showcase my product and be there for the NIC. Yes, uh, Nilam, apart from the funding grant from the MIC and AICT, how has your participation in National Innovation Contest helped you in your entrepreneurial journey so far? Uh, apart from the funding part, uh, we actually, I actually got to learn more about myself as well, that how I should represent my product and what product uh, actually is creating the uh, impact on the customers since uh, my, uh, there are number of people who have visited and have seen our products and appreciate and even even also given us the uh, suggestions and advice to just get a more uh, R&D on it also for the customer aspect as well. I also got a reality check that yeah, the solution which I am working, it is really a solution. That's why they are uh, want to know more about it and want to get uh, us related. There are a set of networking I got from there uh, as well. And also, I 
I am proud to say that I actually got the opportunity from that to be showcase myself in India in the international level through Canada India Acceleration Program, which is also uh, got from the MIC AICT. Yes. So, have you received any financial support from other sources as well, Neelam? Uh, no, sir. We didn't got any support other than MIC. Uh, we have bootstrapped it and for the further development of our product. Great. So, uh, not only MIC and AICT is helping you to work on your dream project, but also uh, you are utilizing this platform to strengthen and in fact uh, continuously work on your product to serve this nation. So, uh, my next question with Anirudh that how do you ensure that your product meet quality standards and how cost effective it is for the users? Okay, that's great. Uh, I'll take the example of for that. Okay, if you look at this earbud, okay, so if you take the standard earbuds which are available in the market of Johnson & Johnson or Tulips, that will cost you around one rupee, okay, for one earbud. Uh, for uh, our earbud, uh, sorry, cost, not cost, we are saying price. Uh, for price of our earbud is around um, one rupee, 10 paisa possibly 10 to 20 paisa more than that okay since we are developing this material from the uh, agricultural base it's a bio based bio de biodegradable what we are doing is uh, we are taking the premium on that on our usp okay so those the, the the rates are quite competitive if you look at the bib as well the bib is uh, the cost of bib is around 3 to 4 rupees our cost is around 4.5 rupees to 5 rupees so it's not it's it's quite competitive and uh, for the regarding the quality check of course whatever the for the medical purpose we can sterilize our material in a very good manner it got sterilized it is not getting damaged during the process of anything we can recycle it as well uh, if you uh, if you can uh, collect it and uh, you reuse it so the quality standards regarding the biodegradability we also done that some quality test as the tensile strength, biodegradability strength, soil quality check, check uh, with the various laboratories here. So we are getting very good uh, results out of it. We are getting very good, uh, uh, what we can say, the optimistic results out of it. And since uh, that, that's how we are taking up it ahead for from the laboratory scale to the right now to the uh, pilot plant uh, manufacturing. Okay. So, Anirudh, uh, I'm also curious to know the challenges you are facing in your startup journey and how you are uh, trying to overcome. Yeah, that's, um, the challenges are many. Since this is a particularly a very new development, okay, we have done, for example, we have done around more than thousands of experiments to develop this material okay, in uh, R&D laboratories. Uh, for that, we have one uh, research and laboratory here in Bide Foundation uh, in uh, Pune. They, uh, the director of Bide Foundation helped us, you know, to work on the particular product. Uh, so the challenge is to understand the quality of the material, raw material, which we need it to process it, to develop the formulation, uh, you know, to optimize the formulation. It was really very challenging. Many times we got frustrated like anything because the material is getting teared up like anything. It is not giving the, it has got soggy sometimes. Okay. But we keep on passionately working that no, we need to address this challenge and we need to work on this. So we came up with the solution and we formulated it very nicely. From almost more than two years to three years, we worked on the, you know, product development and we came up to this level. Another hurdle which we are we face or right now we can say we are working on that is for the development of the product or the finished product, we don't have the machinery. So every machines we need to develop from the scratch. We have developed, designed the machine, special purpose machines for this processing. And yes, uh, we can say right now we are in a position to setting up the pilot plant uh, for of capacity around 500 kg to one ton per day. So that's how we came up with the, uh, with the journey of, you know, uh, the from the uh, R&D scale to pilot plant scale, we can say. Yes. Uh, Neelam, startup journey is not easy. You need continuous mentorship and support uh, in terms of finance, in terms of 
uh, product promotion and everything. So, to whom you used to consult for the mentoring support uh, and how they are helping you in your entrepreneurial journey? So, uh, for the R&D purpose, since my partner has mentioned Dr. Meenal Jushi from Bide Foundation, she actually helped us a lot during that because she has around 20 to 30 years of experience in the R&D. Uh, so, we actually got that mentorship from her and we are blessed to have her as a mentor, our first mentor for uh, our innovation. And the second credit I want to give to MIC uh, and our innovation hub that is the uh, DIC, where because they have actually give us immense amount of courses, learning, training courses, which actually helped us to more know about what is entrepreneurship, how business work. For example, if I go for the finance, if I'm getting any problem, they just give us uh, a training course or a person whom they basically believe that they, they can help us so this kind of help in my uh, early stages is actually a blessing for me to uh, get opportunity and get connected with these uh, wonderful people in my life great anilam if you have to give one advice to someone who is considering to start their own venture like you what would that be uh, because recently we have launched uh, Yukti Innovation Challenge also, so your advice will be very helpful for them. I believe uh, today's youth is, uh, I can say, uh, maybe a very cranky or kinky. They can't just settle in one particular place. They want to move here and there. But uh, if you broaden your vision, I think not India, but the world is working on the sustainability development goals as a uh, as SDGs, there are around 18 SDGs, which the world is working. So if we can just try to get the solutions, which are on more on sustainability or environment, because as we can see that there uh, today, now the climate is getting worse and worse. We can see raining every month before we are only getting around four to five months, but we can now see that the rain, rain almost every month, we can see the rain on our uh, earth. So I think people should more work on the environmental and sustainability kind of goals. Also, they should be very passionate towards that thing. What they are actually doing, doing that, they should know that, yeah, I am working on the right path and I will work towards my best and uh, will continue to work because many times when we see the fall on our journey or we see that it's not working, it's not working. So just take a small break just process the thing why it is getting wrong try to find the answer of why when you will be going to get the answer of why you will just easily get cope up with it and further work on it it's i think it, it would be a life lesson for everyone not in the startup or the entrepreneur journey but i think the life lesson that we should always know the meaning of why why i am doing this how i can do that why it is not working if we just find that why, uh, I think we will conquer everything in our world. Uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, important and especially focusing on SDG is the need of the hour. Uh, Anurudh, yes. can you share your experience uh, in terms of learnings for our budding entrepreneurs? Anurudh? Uh, yeah, uh, basically uh, for me, as Nilam rightly said, uh, we need to be not only passionate, we need to be patriotic as well. Okay. True. See, I, I, I'm right now. I'm, I'm working on this particular challenge of, you know, uh, environmental sustainability. But we need to look at the future as well. When our kids will come, they will start their journey. They should be get good amount of, you know, uh, fresh water or air or pollution-free environment as well. Okay. If we didn't put our intellectuals on all these aspects of, you know, coming up with the green technological solutions, then who, who others will work on that? So for me, it's a very patriotic te uh, uh, team, which we are working on right now on the, these particular challenges. Uh, the another thing is, uh, you know, uh, I do understand for everybody's life, you know, it's not easy to get the goal directly and to work on that. You need to you need to find out the purpose of your existence, and to, you need to understand why why you are doing this, 
and then it will come up we know uh, the the solution ultimately to you that is what i am looking for but it's it's very important uh, so uh, nilam what plans do you have for the future of the business and uh, can you share your vision with us uh, especially uh, with uh, in, in terms of your product in terms of your um, uh, the company so vivek indri team believes that it is not possible for earth to replenish at a place that we impose the pollution upon it so we in the green feel that it is our responsibility to take care of it and with this responsibility we are working on the green technological solutions like like i have said earlier the biomass is one of the solution which is uh, solving the two major problems that is agriculture waste disposal and the plastic pollution and uh, the further planning we have is we are working on uh, the pilot setup to commercialize our product and get our product into the market and know how it helps the environment and people and can get a a shift towards the life towards the sustainability as we have around uh, 30 to 40 years back we shifted our life into the i think i can say the sustainability more sustainability to the plastic world so now uh, uh, rather than more shift towards back to the sustainability so this is our vision and plan for the futures thank you so much neelam and anirudh for joining us today and sharing your product your work your vision and as well as your challenges and also sharing piece of advice for our budding entrepreneurs uh, keep inspiring us thank you again Thank you so much, sir, for inviting us to this platform. I I'm very happy and proud to say that we uh, I got the opportunity to get collaborate with MIC, and I am proudly to say that now I am a, I feel too that I am I am a MIC family as well as for the innovation and startup is considered. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Abhishek, sir, for giving us opportunity to showcase ourselves on this particular platform. thank you mic team uh, you know uh, you know for this interview arranging and giving us immense support to become an entrepreneur it's not so easy uh, thank you very much for the same thank you so much keep inspiring thank you thank you sir thank you it's the need of the hour to engage with the youth to spread awareness about the plastic pollution also to encourage committed youth like neelam to think innovative to develop solution to mitigate plastic pollution and develop alternatives to single use plastics with this we conclude today's episode we will meet with other change makers in next episode namaskar jai hind